Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create an API to book car in Spring Boot. So let's get started. Let's go to our enums package and here I'm going to create an enum and the name is book car status. And here I'm going to add the status that is a pending. Second, I'm going to add here approved and third, I'm going to add here rejected. So let me close this. Let's go to our entities package. And here I'm going to create a new class that is a book a car let's create this and here i'm going to add the notation that is a at the rate entity and the second i'm going to add the notation at the rate data in the class i'm going to add the properties so the first one is a id so let me make it as a primary key and the second notation it will be a generated value that is a strategy generation type dot identity second i'm going to add here private date and from date let me import this date from java.util private date that is a to date private long days private long price private book car status private user and the user over here so here we need to add the relationship with other entities and second i'm going to add here that is a car so here i'm going to add the notation that is a at the rate many to one because one user can book many cars so it will be a fetch that is a fetch type dot lazy and the optional that is a false second notation i'm going to add here that is a at the rate join column and here we need to define the name that is a user underscore id and second i'm going to add here nullable false third notation i'm going to add here on delete and it will be a action is equals to on deletion dot cascade and the fourth annotation i'm going to add here this and ignore so let me copy all of these annotations and this property and here i'm going to change the column name that is a car underscore id so let's go to our details package and let's create a book car dto class so here i'm going to create new class that is a book car dto let me add the annotation that is add the rate data so here i'm going to add the properties so let me copy the properties from the book car entity so after that i'm going to add here private long car id and the last i'm going to add here long user id let's go to our customer service and here i'm going to create method and the return type of this method that is a boolean and name of the method that is a book a car in the argument it will receive an object of book car dto let's go to our customer service impl and here i'm going to implement this method so let's write here the functionality to save the booking to the database so first of all we need to get car and the user by id so here i'm going to create an object that is a optional car and here we need to call car repository and the method that is a find by id and here we need to pass car id so we will get car id from book a car data dot get car id and after that we need to get user so it will be a user and the optional user over here and here we need to call user repository so let me inject here user repository and it will be a private final user repository so here we need to call user repository dot find by id method and here we need to pass user id so we will get user id from book a car dto dot get user id and after that we need to check in the if condition that is a optional car is present and and optional user is present then we need to move in the if block otherwise we will return here false so here i'm going to create an object of a book a car and it will be a new book a car and here we need to set user and we will get user from optional user dot get and after that we need to set here car 
and we will get car from optional car dot you get so let me set here book car status and it will be a book car status dot pending after that i'm going to create a variable that is a difference in milliseconds so here i'm going to add milliseconds so here we need to pass book a car dto dot get to date dot get time minus book a car dto dot get from date dot get time and after that i'm going to create a variable that is a long days and here we need to call time units dot milliseconds dot two days and here we need to pass difference in milliseconds so after that i'm going to call here book a car dot set days and here we need to give the variable that is a days and after that i'm going to set the price and we will get price from our this object that is optional car so let me create here an object that is a car and we need to give option car dot get and let me make it existing car and we need to give here this object okay so here we need to use existing car dot get price multiply by days okay so after that we need to call here a book car repository so let's go to our repositories package and here i'm going to create a new interface that is a book a car repository let me extend with jpa repository and here we need to give book a car entity and the data type of a primary key that is a long let me add the annotation that is at the red repository so let's inject here book a car repository so it will be a private final book a car repository So let's call here book a car repository dot save method and here we need to pass book a car object and after that we need to return here true okay so this is the logic to save the bookings into our database let's go to our customer controller and create an endpoint to call method from our customer service so you can see the customer controller I'm going to create a method that is a public response entity over here and here I'm going to add void and name of the method that is a book a car in the argument it will receive an object that is a book a car DTO so I have added here the request body annotation and here we need to call method from our customer service that is a book a car and here we need to pass the object that is a book a car dto so here i'm going to create a variable that is a boolean success so for that i'm going to add here the estimation where we will check if we got true then we need to return here response entity dot status that is a http status dot created dot build in case of false then we need to return here response entity dot status that is a http status dot bad request dot build so let me add here the notation to access this api that is a at the rate post mapping and here i'm going to add the url of this api that is a slash car slash book so let's run the application
and you can see application started and it's created a new table with the name book a car so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video in the next video we will call this api from angular i will attach the playlist link in the description you can check it out and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye